Hello and thank you for watching this video. We're going to continue our EasyTune Getting Started uh, series of videos by looking at how you actually apply tuning. Um, so just to sort of set the stage, um, from last time we learnt that everything begins uh, with tuning packs which are these CSV files that contain um, the list of overrides you want to set um, along with uh, the defaults the management pack sets each workflow to. Uh, these are worked between the SCOM administrator and domain experts. They can be contributed to and pulled from the store, the community store, which is hosted um, on GitHub and is contributed to by a community of experts along with people like yourselves. And we talked about all that stuff last time. Uh, this time we're going to talk about actually setting tuning using EasyTune and the overrides themselves that are stored in sensibly named management packs. Um, so, specifically, when we're talking about applying tuning, we're talking about looking at those tuning levels uh, that are in each of the tuning packs, these columns in the CSV files. Um, so in the case of this example here for IIS 10, we might want to set the essentials level for uh, a particular scope, maybe a group of production web servers. So how is that actually done in practice? And then we touched on the scope in that last slide there, but we're looking at how you uh, set up scope in EasyTune, so tuning globally. So for example, how do you tune all SQL servers to something and then have different tuning for different specific groups and also for specific objects, some which may be inside of groups and some which may not. And that's what we're going to look at this time. So let's dig into demos. So we're looking at the SCOM console again. This is the EasyTune UI, and we're looking at our server 2016 tuning pack here. Um, and there's no tuning from it right now. You can see in it, there are a number of levels that are these columns in the CSV file um, that we're going to be tuning from. So you can see here, no global tuning currently set up, no tuned groups, and no tuned objects right now. So how do I go about setting up that tuning? Um, so in tuning pack actions here on the tasks pane on the right hand side we can select tune globally all objects. We're then told um, that the tuning we will be selecting will apply uh, to all objects um, in the management group of the type that we're going to tune from the tuning pack. So in this case the workflows are from these two management packs we're going to be tuning and these are the levels available to us. We could look in the tuning pack to see what uh, what uh, the overrides themselves will be, or we can select the level here. I'm going to select a global level of discovery only. So setting a global level to discovery only uh, will, will result in the following. Uh, so we'll basically turn off everything that is not a discovery. And it's really quite useful to do this when you're onboarding new monitoring, because then you can actually turn off the monitoring, but make sure the management pack is doing what it's supposed to do, checking the objects are discovered um, by it, that it can see what it needs to see, and then tune up on a group by group basis. So that's what we're going to do. You're then asked where you would like the overrides to be stored, and you're given these three options. The first one is to automatically create a new management pack, which is the default and is what we recommend. Uh, if you select this, this option, a uh, sensibly named management pack is, is created each time, and the overrides are stored in it. We also store the, the uh, summary you saw on the previous screen in the knowledge tab, so you can see uh, what was set, along with uh, information about who actually who has done this tuning so the date stamp and also the user account essentially of uh, that person the other options that you have are to choose an existing management pack to store the overrides in um, you could do that if you wanted uh, or for customers who have easy tune enterprise you get the option to export to xml which is quite useful if your overrides are under some kind of change control and you're not allowed to simply create management packs in SCOM, you might use something like Silect MP Studio. Um, so then you might export your management pack to XML, to a file to put through change control. We're going to select automatically create a new management pack and hit next. And on this summary screen here, you see the scope is global. The level we've picked is discovery only. You see the name of the management pack that we're going to create as well. 
Um, you can see it's sensibly named. It contains the scope of global, the level selected, and the tuning pack, and the fact it contains overrides. And as I said earlier, this screen here, this summary screen, is, is stored on the knowledge tab of the management pack created. So we'll give that a moment. Um, just looking at the size of that scroll bar there, there's quite a few overrides um, being set. To do this the old fashioned way would take a good few hours, I would imagine. And this should take um, 30 seconds or so. There we go. So now we have the global level set to discovery only, and we can see it in effect here. If we were to click on the uh, link here, you can see the workflows that have been set, what their target value is, and whether their target that target value is in effect or not. Um, so there we go. So that's tuning globally. You can now see that Tune Globally is grayed out for this tuning pack because we've done it already. So now let's tune up a group. So I'm going to click on Tune a Group. You're asked firstly for the group. Which group are we going to tune? I'm going to pick Group 2. Here it is. And I'm asked for my level of tuning. So these guys are going to get the MP default level. So we've turned everything off globally. We're going to tune up for group two. And look at the size of this scroll bar. Doing this the old fashioned way manually would take you ooh, a good week, maybe longer. There's a lot of tuning in there for two management packs. Uh, for group, you can actually specify with easy tune uh, free now a schedule. Um, so you can specify when you want the schedule to take effect. So this is, do you want these overrides to take effect inside or outside of a schedule? Uh, the details of this are covered in another video, so I'm going to not check that today. We're going to specify where the overrides are stored. Again, I'm going to select automatically create a new management pack. And we're going to hit finish and let the tuning go in. Um, I may break the video at this point for a second if this takes uh, uh, a little while. As, a, as you can see from the size of that scroll bar, a lot of tuning that's being done. Still, it should only take a minute or so. Okay, so you can see that that tuning has been set. We have tuned groups one in the columns here, and you can see the specific group that's been tuned. And again, if we were to click on this, we would see the workflows and the tuning uh, that's in effect and whether it's uh, in effect or not. Here we go, so these are the workflows, the target values, and what's in effect, perfect. And finally, we are going to tune a specific object. So we go over here, we select tune a specific object. We're going to pick the object to be tuned. I'm going to select a Windows box called Infra AD01. Here it is, this guy. And uh, this is a uh, this box we want to uh, have some slightly strange monitoring on it. It's actually part of group two, but we're going to change a few things here. Um, we're going to override some of the workflows relating to network adapter um, and we're going to create a new management pack for it and hit finish so it's very very similar uh, a process and take note of the override MP name we've got the object name stored in uh, the name of the management pack we create so it's really easy to see uh, what the management pack is for we'll just give this a minute to go through and there we go you can now see tuned objects is set to one uh, if you want to see the details of any of this tuning, you would go into Manage Tuning over here. You can see the global level of tuning is here. You can see the tuned group or groups uh, and tuned objects. So here we can see my uh, Infra AD01 box and the tuning level here. And that's what I had to show in this video today. So we showed actually setting tuning from a tuning pack using the levels with the global scope, a group scope and with an object scope, what that looks like in EasyTune itself. Thank you for watching.